to my third video or my fourth video in my module on uh, statistical graphs and in this video is just a really quick video on the nature of distributions of, you know distribution shapes because we have at least eight of them here that I'd like to mention that we tend to give names to because they have kind of a interesting shape to them starting with this first top left one here they say the bell shaped curve okay or anything it's somewhat bell shaped we say it's bell shaped because I mean if you were to look at it this way it kind of looks like a kind of looks I'm kind of drawing sideways here <laughs> sorry Let's try this again. It kind of looks like a bell, you know, I mean, like the kind you would ring here. Uh, but essentially, this is this is actually a, a pattern that shows up in a lot of things, like shoe size. You know, if you were to say, like, size 7, you know, size, like, 10, size 13, size 16, or something like that, and go backwards, you know, say, say size 4, size 1, and whatever, theoretically, negative 2, we can't have it. But, but the point here is this. You know, we'd say most people have, you know, somewhere in the middle here. And then as you go, you know, larger shoe sizes, lower shoe sizes, or higher temperatures, lower temperatures, or, you know, higher mile times, lower mile times, when you're in the mile, uh, tend to be less frequent, not as many people in those classes, okay? Uh, uniform distribution. This would be things that are, you know, relatively straight across the board. So what we say is anything that's uniform is straight across the board. There's no hump in the middle. Now, speaking of this hump in the middle, I'm actually going to skip down to these two right here. Uh, these two here, uh, but essentially right skewed and left skewed. Uh, just want to be clear on this. These are really like your bell shape that favor one side over the other. So we still have kind of a belly type shape here. So it does go up and down. It's just that it becomes right skewed when the tail is on the right. This is important. You look for the tail. This is like a tail if you can see that there. Uh, but it's left skewed when the tail is on the left. Now I do want to distinguish between these two here that we just talked about, these two left and right skewed ones, which are kind of like offset bell shaped. Uh, and I want to compare and contrast those with these, which we refer to as, uh, on the left here we say, J shaped. And then the one on the right there would be reverse J shaped. And the reason why we refer to these as J shaped is we say are they are monotone. They always do one thing. So in other words, this is always increasing here. So in ascending order, whereas the J shaped Reverse J-shaped would be in descending order. If you look at the letter J, you know, you look at the letter, like a reverse J, you could see that this one is kind of increasing in the, or, or uh, sorry, reverse J-shape here. Yes, yes, it is going downhill. So it's kind of like a, a letter J here, and a letter J here. So we have J and reverse J. And then last but not least, we have bimodal. Now remember mode, the mode, me, me, and mode, we say mode is the most. So we say the class with the most frequency in it. This, this class here ties with this class over here. So when there are two like winning classes, we say is bimodal. And you can even have a trimodal thing. Anything after that, I don't think we'd care very much. But, you know, bimodal. And then last but not least, a U-shaped thing. That would be like where many values are located on the outsides, the skirts of the values here, and on the, the intermediate values, there's not much. So we say U-shaped, which is kind of like, a, like the antithesis to a bell-shaped thing. So this is just a, a quick video and commentary on the nature of the shapes of distributions.